I know this looks like water behind me, but it's not. It's plastic, let me tell you all about it. They say an eco-friendly house can't be built in 150 days for $150,000, and I say it can. I'm Alan Smith. Join me as I push the limits with time, budget, and creativity with the Garden Home Challenge, exclusively on eHow Home. That's looking good. Well, Dustin and Joe are wrapping up the getting the compressor set up for our mini split system to cool this house down because it's gotten really hot. We're just about there in terms of cooling this house down. But you know, the thing that you have to do is you got to make sure that the house is completely sealed. So once you do cool it this time of year, you keep the cool inside. And there's some ways you can do that. Come on in here. Now I know that we've talked about insulation and the importance of it throughout the construction of this house. You're probably sick and tired of hearing me say it, but it is so, so important. This is a little different down here because we're talking about the underside of the house itself. We've already put the insulation in the walls. Remember we used the cellulose and built out the walls. They're six inches thick and then on all the slopes upstairs, the roof, etc., we use the soybean foam insulation. But in here we're using two other products that will help finish off the entire envelope around the house from top down along the sides, now underneath. We're using some of this fiberglass batting you can see here between floor joists of the house. And the way these are held in place, you just take a wire like this, the batting goes up and the wire goes in like that and holds it. Pretty cool, huh? And then in here, which is actually underneath the footprint of the house, what we've done is we've come in and we've covered the entire floor with a black plastic. Now this serves as a vapor barrier under here and it does a lot to help maintain the longevity of this house. For instance, by keeping the moisture under here at bay, it's going to keep the floors from buckling, protects the structure from rotting, as well as keeps the occurrence of mold way down. Now I wish you could feel it in here because it's a lot cooler than it is outside. It's so hot today, but in here, I bet it's 20 to 30 degrees cooler. Now let's talk about air quality for just a moment. You see, the beauty of putting this batting up here, this insulation in the floor joist, is that it keeps air from going up through the house from down here below, and it keeps you from losing air from in the house, the cool air, or in the winter warm air, through the floor into this space. So it's really a good idea. If you're enjoying these updates on the house, check in regularly. Make sure you tell a friend about them and subscribe to eHow Home. All right, guess I gotta go back out in the heat now.